Hello all. Welcome to KDD Training Solutions and myself Mohan Rajamani. In this session, we are going to discuss how to crack Wipro Wilp online assessment. If you take Wipro Wilp examination, you have only two parts. So part one is your online assessment and part two is your business discussion. So cracking business discussion is very simple because you can expect questions from your core region. You can expect from your resume or you can expect questions from the topics which you opted in your Wipro Wilp application. So that is actually easy to crack, but the major filtration is going to happen only from online assessment. We know online assessment is for 80 minutes and you totally have four sections. So quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning and verbal ability. So in each part, you will be getting 20 questions for 20 minutes. And your fourth part is your business communication or we can say essay writing. So you will be getting one question per one question per 20 minutes. So totally it is an 80 minutes adaptive test. Now before telling what is adaptive test, I suggest you don't skip any part of this video because we plan to give you some gifts and bonus before end of this video. So definitely it's going to boost your confidence. So don't skip any part. Okay, now coming to adaptive test. So what is it? So adaptive test, uh, if you crack each question correctly, you will be getting next level of questions. For example, if you get first question for 10 marks, if you write it correctly, you will be getting second question for 20 marks and third question for 30 marks. So this is how it works. So if you attend first question wrongly, you will be, you will be getting similar level of question as second and third questions. So this is how exactly this Wipro platform works. So you can easily crack online assessment if you follow some strategies and shortcuts that we are going to discuss in this session. See, in aptitude, reasoning and verbal, you will be getting some recurring questions. So recurring model questions. So same type of question is going to repeat every year. So we are going to discuss that kind of question in today's session. So all this question I collected from my students who clear Wipro Wilp last year. So these were the model questions. So this is definitely going to helpful for your Wipro will preparation. Okay, now here you have the first question. Find the greatest four digit number divisible by eight and 11. So you have to find the greatest four digit number that is divisible by eight and 11. So which is the greatest four digit number we know? So the greatest four digit number we know is 9,999. Yeah, so this is the greatest four digit number we know. Okay, so let me adjust my writing pad. Yeah. So the greatest four digit number, which we know is 9,999. Now, which is the smallest number divisible by eight and 11? So we have to take LCM of eight and 11. So what is LCM of eight and 11? So LCM of eight and 11 is simple. There is no relationship between eight and 11. So we can multiply. So it is 88. So 88 is the smallest two digit number that is divisible by eight and 11 separately. Now, definitely the answer will lie in multiples of this 88. So 88. So next multiple of 88 is 88 into 2, 176. Next 88 into 3. In this way, you will be getting the greatest four digit number that is divisible by 88. If it is divisible by 88, then the same number is divisible by 8 and 11, right? So we can divide this 9,999 by 88. 1 times 88 is 88. So it is 119. So again, 1 times 88 is 88. So what is the remainder? So 1, uh, it's 319. So it will go for 3 times, right? So 3 8 are 24, carry over to 3 8 are 24, it is 264. And what is the remainder? So it is 5 times and 5 times. Yeah, 5 and 5. So 9999 is not divisible by 88. Why? Because it have 55 extra, 55 excess. So we can subtract 55 from 9,999. So if you subtract, you get what? 9,944. So 9,944 will be perfectly divisible by 88. If it is divisible by 88, then the same number will be divisible by 8 and 11 also. So double nine, double four is the greatest four digit number divisible by 8 and 11. And these kind of questions are really important for your Wipro because these kind of questions are recurring models. So to find this problem, so to solve this problem easily, so you should know the tricks to find LCM easily. So I have included the link on how to find LCM in description. 
So if you want, you can have a look at it. Now moving to question number two. So here we have question number two. Product of the two number is 2,688. If LCM of the number is 336, find HCF of the numbers. To solve this problem easily, we have a principle. So the principle is product of any two numbers is equal to product of its LCM and HCM. So what is product of these two numbers? It is given as 2688. So 2688 equal to LCM of the number is 336 and HCF we have, we have to find. So we can take it as HCF. So HCF equal to 2688 divided by 336. Now you have to cancel it. So we have some bigger number. We can't divide it by three and six. So what we can do? So we can uh, just multiply this 336 by eight. So if you multiply that by eight, you will get 2688. So how to find it easily? So the shortcut is, see you have 2688. So the last digit is eight, right? And here you have six. See six into what you get eight at last. Six into eight, you will get eight at last. So 336 into eight. So just a trial and error. So six eights are 48, carry over four. Three eights are 24 plus four, it is 28, carry over two. Three eights are 24 plus two is 26. Yes, it is working. So your answer is HCF of the number is eight. See, by looking the unit digit, you can find the answer easily. Right. So if you are a little brilliant, you can do it easily. So this kind of questions are also very important. So definitely you can expect one question from property of LCM and HCF. Now moving to next question. Mukis can complete a building in 50 days, whereas Ganis can complete the same work in 75 days. Working together, the building will be completed in how many days? See, we have two people here. So Mukis will do a work in 50 days. If you give the same work to Ganis, he will do it in 75 days. But we don't know what is the total work. We can assume any value, but for my convenience, I'm taking LCM of 50 and 75. So what is LCM of 50 and 75? So to find LCM of 50 and 75, you take the greater number. Is the greater number divisible by smaller number? No, 75 is not divisible by 50. You will get 25 as remainder. So take the next multiple of 75. Next multiple of 75 is 75 into 2, 150. Now is this 150 divisible by 50? Yeah. So how many times? Three times. So 150 is the LCM, right? So we are assuming totally 150 units to be completed. So this is our total work. Now this is our assumption, right? So you can assume any value, but to ignore the decimal value, I'm taking the LCM. So Mukes will complete 150 units in 50 days. So in one day, Mukes will complete how many units? 150 by 50, three units per day. Now, Ganesh will complete 150 units in 75 days. So in one day, Ganesh will complete how many units then? Two units. Now we found Mukes will complete three units, Ganesh will complete two units. So together they will complete three plus two, five units in one day. Likewise, they will complete this 150 units in how many days? 150 by five, 30 days. So 30 days is our answer. It's very simple, right? Now, question number four. Akbar offers a discount of 20% on all the items at her shop. So this is at his shop. And still makes a profit of 12%. What is the cost price of an article marked at 2,800? So you have to find the cost price and what is what is the price given for us? Market price is given, that is 2,800. If you know relationship between cost price, market price and selling price, you can easily solve this problem. So we have discussed profit and loss in our YouTube and I have included the playlist link in description. Now, cost price you have to find and we know cost price is always 100 percentage. Now market price is given as 2,800. Now see, Akbar purchased a product for some amount and he fixed 2,800 rupees. From that, he allows a discount of 20%. Always the shopkeeper will allow a discount from market price only. So here market price is 2,800. From that, he allowed a discount of 20%. So 2,800 is 100 percentage. Now what is 10 percentage? So just cut one zero. So 10 percentage is 280, right? So 100% is 2,800, 10% is 280. Then what is 20%? 280 times 2, 560, right? So 20% is 560. 
So from 2,800, he allowed 560 discount. Now, if you subtract, you get zero and uh, 10 minus six, uh, four, uh, then seven minus it's two, 2,240. And finally, he is selling for 2,240 rupees, right? See, from market price, 2,800, he allowed a 20% discount. So 20% of 2,800 is what? 560. So he is selling for 2,240 and makes a profit of 12%. So if cost price is 100%, from that, he makes a profit of 12%. Right? So always cost price is 100%. From cost price only, you can uh, predict whether the transaction is profit or loss. So cost price is always base price. So from cost price 100 percentage, he is getting a 12 percentage extra. So the selling price will be 112 percentage, right? With cost price 100 percentage, while selling the product for 2,240, the shopkeeper gets 12 percent profit. So 112 percentage is 2,240. Now what is 100 percentage? That is your cost price. X cross multiply. X equal to 2,240 divided by 112 into 100. So 112 times 2 is 2,000. 240. Yeah, 112 times 2 is 224. So, one zero is extra 20 into 100, 2000. So, 2000 is your cost price. You are supposed to find the cost price. So, cost price of the product is 2000. And this kind of problems are really important. Okay. Now, see, I said you will be getting difficult level questions once you solve easy questions, right? So, you can expect this kind of questions for a high weightage. So, this is very important. Okay, now next question. How many four digit even numbers can be made from the digits one to six with repetition of the digits allowed? So the question is based on permutation and the permutation questions are really, really important. So you have to find how many four digit even numbers are made from the digits one to six, one, two, three, four, five, six. See, what is quality of the even number? Last digit should be an even number. That means it should be divisible by 2, 4, or 6. I mean, it, it can be 2, 4, or 6. So last digit can be filled in only three ways, right? So you have only three numbers uh, to fix at last, last place. So you can fill the last digit in three ways only. So it can be 2, or 4, or 6. Now it is given repetition of the digits is allowed. So the same number can repeat. Right. So if you fill the first place with two, second place can be filled with two, third place can be filled with two, and last place can also be two. But the condition is last digit should be an even number. Then only you will make the series an even number, four digit number as an even number. Now, first place can be filled in six space. Any one of the six number will occupy the first place. Second place can also be filled in six space and third place in six space. But the final place will be filled only in three ways. So 6 into 6 into 6 into 3. So 6 cube is 216. So 216 into 3, you get 400 and I mean 648. Am I right? So 6, 3 is 18, 1. Yeah, 4 and 1 times. Yeah, so that is correct. So in 640, I mean, totally 648 four digit even numbers can be made from the digits one to six with repetition of the digits allowed. So this becomes our answer. So it's very simple, right? Now moving to last question. The average of six terms is 60. If the first four terms are 45, 42, 119, and 84, whereas the fifth number is four times of sixth number, find the difference between fifth and sixth number. So totally you have six terms and the average is 60, then what is the sum? So sum will be 6 into 60, 360. Now, sum of six numbers is 360. Out of that, first four numbers are given. So what is the four numbers? So 45, 42, 119, 84. So if you add this, how much you get? So it is 45, 42, 97, 181. It is 290, right? So sum of the four, four terms is 290. Now we have one more hint. Fifth number is four times the sixth number. Yeah. So we found the four numbers is 290. Now we can subtract it from 360. So remaining we get 70. So 70 is what? Sum of fifth number and sixth number, right? Now you have a hint. Fifth number is four times the sixth number. So fifth number 
is how many times the sixth number? Four times the sixth number. So if you add the fifth number and sixth number, you have to get 70. That is 5x equal to 70. Then what is 1x? So 1x will be 1 times 5, 5 carry over 2. So it is 15. So 1x is 15. I think I made a mistake. Yeah. So x equal to 14. So 1x equal to 14. Now, we know sixth number is only one part. So if 1x is 14, sixth number will be 14. What is fifth number then? 14 into 4, you get 42. No, not 42, 56. 4 into 4, 16, 1, 56. So you found fifth number is 56 and sixth number is 14. Now what you are supposed to find, the difference between fifth and sixth number. So fifth number is 56 and the sixth number is 14. Now what is the difference? 42. So 42 is difference between fifth number and sixth number and that becomes your answer. You can expect only similar kind of question for your Wipro examination. And I said, you have a bonus, you have a gift. So the gift is we have prepared a special course for your online assessment. So which covers aptitude, reasoning, verbal, as well as your essay, written communication. So it is 10 hours content, but definitely we can not provide it at free of cost, right? So we have fixed a cost for it and don't worry, it is lesser than cost of a dosa, right? So we have fixed the price of the product as 80. Right. So price of this crash course is only 80 rupees where we have included more than 200 plus questions, 200 plus model questions, similar kind of questions you can expect for your Wipro wealth examination. Definitely it is going to helpful for you. Right. So I suggest you to purchase this package and watch all these videos, practice it so that you feel more confident on clearing Wipro wealth examination. So you can be one among 10,000 plus benefited students from our placement training. So I have included the link of uh, the application in description. Just click it, download it, purchase the video. And this video will be available in your application only for three days. See, you can prepare all the content in three days, right? So after watching our YouTube videos, so if you feel you want more training, definitely you can purchase it, but we suggest you to purchase. And if you feel this video is helpful, please share it to your friends. And all the very best for your Wipro Wilp examination. And if you clear your examination, please put your remarks in our comment section. Thanks a lot for your watching. Have a great day.